All right, Ashley, Kennedy, how y'all doing? Doing good, good. How are you? I'm doing all, doing all right. So, Kennedy, coming back, coming back for another another year. How do you? How would you say the off season went for it? Um, I think it went well. I mean, we I did have one injury, one minor injury in my wrist, but it only took a maybe like a month to fully heal. But I'm ready to go now. Ashley, um, you know, I suffered an injury in the fall to my shoulder, so that was. Devastating, but um, I'm ready to bounce back on the road to recovery and just out here to be the best teammate and coach I can for my team. Speak to obviously the, this team this year. What talk about this team? How would you describe this year's team? I think we we have a chip on our shoulder and we're just ready to go. Show everybody like who we really are. And like last year wasn't really a fluke. And you know we're coming back better than ever. Like yes, we did suffer a couple injuries in the fall but we that's the thing about this team is like we have so many special and talented people that it doesn't matter who's out of it right now like we're going to back each other up and we're ready to go we just have a special bond here i would say like we we came really close really fast and um everyone's always going to have your back no matter what so no matter if i'm out or someone else is out someone's going to step up and take charge of that you end up getting a couple of new coaches and Coach Salling and, and Sale. What was it been like work, working with them, including Coach Sale, who you guys played against last year? Um, I've really enjoyed both of them. Um, they've really expanded my knowledge of the game. Also, looking from a different perspective from the last couple months, like I've learned so much as a player um, just from a different perspective. And I've, I'm excited to see what, what we can do with this staff. Yeah, 100%. I agree. I think that the staff has really brought in like a lot of knowledge to this team, like softball IQ is what we call it. So like being able to have that much softball IQ and just having professionals or like people who have been here and done this before have your back and like give you advice on if you're struggling or even like mental health, just making sure that you're okay and like pushing you to be the best you can be. Do you feel more confident this year than last year as a group considering what you accomplished last year? You know what you can accomplish. You want more. Do you feel like you're even more confident in your abilities than you were, say, a year ago? Um, I would say yes because, you know, as a freshman last year, it was my first year, but now being through my first year, I've gained all the experience that I need on that big stage. But I'd say I'm definitely more confident this year and also, like, my role this year, like I've learned so much and that's like already helped me turn into a better teammate and player and just continue to learn the game. Ashley, while you'll be on the road to recovery to begin this you be, begin the season, what can you say about this group of catchers that will take that will get behind get behind the plate? Um, you know, I'm really excited to see. Uh, we have a bunch of catchers um, that have kind of stepped up to take this role on. And, you know, I've been right there just in their back pocket trying to help them out as much as I can. And I'm excited to see them get back there behind the dish and play. Give me the freshman, who's the funniest freshman. Funniest <laughs> freshman. I would have to say Nahanda Luce. <laughs> really? What, just she's a good mix. She knows how to throw. I, well, I saw just, that at the, a little bit in the bank. Yeah, she just, knows, bit. she just knows how to joke around. And she always has something to say. And she's always going to put a smile on your face and make you laugh. You, you were a freshman last year, so you went through all that. What advice have you given the freshmen, both of you? You've both gone through it. What's what's the big advice you give them? Um, my advice would be just to, like, never stop learning. Like, always continue to learn and grow in the game and never take advantage of any moment. Um, I would say to just always give it your all because – I know coming in, it's it can be overwhelming because you come in and like, yeah, you were the probably one of the best players on your travel or high school team and you come in and everyone is the best. So it gets really tough and overwhelming when you're not the best person anymore. Yeah. There's so many more of people like you. So just always giving it your all and never being afraid to make a mistake or mess up because it's a game of failure and it happens. And you just always, like Ashley said, just keep learning. Who or what drives the both of you to play this sport? Um, I would say my mom and dad. Um, they, I grew up in a coaching household, so both of them were coaches. So I played many sports growing up. And just 
their love for the game has passed down onto me, and I just I just love the game of softball, and that's really my why is my mom and dad. I would also say my mom and my dad and my two older brothers because I look up to them the most and they also played well they played baseball in college and I just always grew up with them and always wanted to be behind them and just be like them so being able to like still be going and going even further than some of the members of my family did it's really cool to like put a smile on their face and see them happy and proud of me doing what I you know was meant to do. What is the biggest difference that you want to see in this team by the time we get into uh, to around playoff time? How do you want this team to grow this season? Um, I think I just want this team to build on what Team 21 did last year. Um, we have a lot of returners but we also have a lot of newbies but I think us returners can just take them under our wing and show them the way and I'm ready to see how far this team can go because I really think this team is very special. We're very talented and we have a lot of work ethic on this team. So I'm ready to see what we can do. Yeah, I'm just ready. We have a lot of returners who have been there and you know done what we're trying to like accomplish now. So being able to take the newcomers under our wing and just show them what our culture is about and just go from there and do our thing. Yeah, you know, it's funny because we were looking, this is a group that uh, that uh, that as far as el looking at eligibility concerns you guys can really stay together as one team mo with m m minor change very minor changes in from not only this season but this next season in the big 12 what's it been like what's it kind of like to be able to have be, have the idea of like you know I, we can pretty much keep this entire most of this entire team together as we as we go into the, like for the, the, not only this season but also next season. Um, I think we have a really good core group here. Um, technically, we only have one senior that doesn't have any more eligibility, so that's exciting. Um, but I think us just having this core group and continue to build those relationships and continuing to work together and be in this together is just really important for our success. Um, but I'm just like this group is special. I agree. Um, I think it's really important for a team not to just have, you know, like specific leaders, but it's important for a team to also have this really close bond with each other. And I think if you have that bond within the team, it's going to take you a long way. So being able to stick together and have the same group go on for as long as we have and are able to, it'll it'll be really convenient for us and it'll take us a long way. How would you say Team 22 and Team 21 are different? <laughs> Team 22. Team 22, I feel like we are on like, I don't know, we're on this high a little bit of like, we deserve to be here and we're going to show everybody like who's the boss. But I think Team 21 was kind of just, it was almost like a, oh my God, we made it. Like, this is it. Like, this is what we dreamed of. But I think this team, Team 22, just wants to go even further and like has that chip on their shoulder and just wants to take it all the way to the end. Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. Um, I think last year we showed that we deserve to be here. And now that we know that we deserve to be here, it's like we're coming to show you why we really deserve to be here. All right, well, good luck with that this season. Thank you.